Hey guys, welcome back. This is another demo, and today it's going to be with Luxa Shine and Luxa Hollow. This is top quality holographic pigment, guys. So if you've been searching for an affordable pigment, here it is. So we're going to just get started. Um, there's also another demo up for Luxa Chrome, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. So here's Luxa Shine. This is a no wipe top coat. And here is Luxa Hollow. This is exactly what it's going to look like if you guys order this product. It is one gram in a square jar. It comes with directions and an applicator sponge. So like I said, Luxa Hollow is one gram and it will come with a sealed lid so nothing is spilling around and keeps everything nice and fresh. So these three nails have already been top coated with Luxa Shine No Wipe Top Coat. And Luxa Shine is a little bit different than other No Wipe Top Coats because it is not as rubbery as some of the other top coats that are out there. So step three on the directions will say for even coverage for best results, you're going to need alcohol on a pad. And you can see my pad is somewhat saturated and you want to wet your nail before you apply your pigment. This is going to help your pigment stick on with no problems. So now you're gonna just pick up your applicator and pick up some pigment and you want enough pigment that it is on your applicator because if you do not have enough pigment on your applicator, if you pick up that much and you try to start rubbing it into your nail, you will start to scratch the pigment off of your nail. It's happened to everyone, so they have a hard time applying the, the pigment. So you need to make sure you have enough pigment on. And I like to kind of press the pigment on first and then start to rub it in. So I'm going to do some troubleshooting with you guys as well, just in case. I know a lot of people will run into this. So if you do too firm of pressure or you did not wet your nail enough with alcohol, you will get bare spots, kind of like what you're seeing going on here. So you don't want to rub too hard with your applicator because these pigments are very delicate because they're very high quality. They're just a lot more sensitive to pressure. So you can see there's a lot some bare spots in there, but it's no big big deal. Just grab your alcohol pad, tap those bare spots, and pick up your applicator with maybe a little bit more of the powder and press it in and start rubbing in with light pressure over the nail and you will see you have really great coverage and a very linear hollow effect. I noticed a tiny little spot, so I just tapped it with a little alcohol, grabbed my applicator with whatever was left over, whatever hollow pigment was left over, and just swiped over that to make sure these nails are like perfect before you top coat. And there you have a very linear hollow nail. It is not a glittery kind of pigment, so you're not going to get that glittery look like some of the holographic laser 
powders that you see out there. So I like to use these makeup wedge sponges to take off any of the excess. And like I said, this is a more delicate pigment, even more than the chrome. So you just want to use really light pressure when you are wiping with, you know, a makeup brush or the makeup wedge sponge. Just use light pressure when you're doing that. So now I'm going to top coat with Luxa Shine. And I'm going to let it kind of hang out and sit while I do the next couple nails so you can see the quality of the top coat and Luxa Hollow. It's not going to turn glittery or it's not going to start doing weird things if you don't put it in the lamp quick enough. Okay, so we're going to do this over an orange nail. And you're going to take your alcohol pad and you're going to wipe the nail with very light pressure. It's more like you're wetting the nail with alcohol. Think of it that way. Then you're going to grab your applicator and enough pigment to do your nail and press the powder in first. I found this is the best way to do it without running into those, you know, bare spot issues. So press your powder into your nail and then do your up and down and circular motion with very light pressure. So now you're going to go ahead and dust off with your makeup wedge. And you can see a little bit of the orange peeking through, not too much, but as soon as you put Luxa Shine on, that color starts to pop through a lot more. So if for some reason you guys are getting like super silver application, more than likely it's because your top coat underneath the pigment was not cured long enough. So if your top coat is still kind of... Um, you know, it's not cured long enough and it still kind of has a tackiness to it. It's going to pick up way more pigment than it needs to. So just you got to make sure you're curing for the length of time that it needs to be hardened. So that's the black nail on the right hand side that's been sitting and it doesn't look pixelated at all or granulated. Everything looks good. So I went ahead and stuck that aside. It has not been in the lamp yet. And we're going to go ahead and do this to this seafoam green color. And like I said, pick up enough pigment after you alcoholed your nail and pat over the whole nail first to cover the nail with the pigment. And then do your up and down motion and circular motion with light pressure. So once you are done, you're going to grab your makeup wedge and dust off and then top coat with Luxa Shine, capping that free edge, getting the cuticle and sidewalls and making sure you have a nice thin layer. Like I said before, thin layer is key when doing these pigments and getting them to stay on for a long time. So I'm going to show you my nails. This has been 10 days already. Don't mind the red nail polish on my left index finger. I did a tutorial earlier and I got polish in my nail. So this is my right thumb. That is my working thumb where, you know, I use to clean things and stuff like that. So it gets worn down faster. Um, this is a, these are my natural nails guys. So there's a base, base gel, one color gel, Luxa Shine, Luxa Hollow and Luxa Shine again. And I work 40 hours a week physically doing nails um, on top of doing videos and on top of, you know, the product line. So I'm very, very busy with my hands and these are holding up for me. So if you're looking for something that might, you know, have longer wear, check out the store at luxapolish.com and see what we have to offer. So here are the nails all finished. The left is the black, 
then the seafoam green and the right is that orange color and I am wearing a very bright purple pink color and this is in indoor lighting when you take it outside in the sun it is crazy bright so you have to see it for yourself and this is the Luxa shine you can go to luxapolish.com to check it out this is super high quality holographic pigment guys so go to the store check it out thanks for watching like subscribe and share i really appreciate you guys thanks again and i'll see you in the next video bye